So if you've been feeling um, extremely doubtful, this message is for you. So what is doubt? What is doubt? Doubt is when you feel uncertain, unsure, fearful, afraid, or when you receive an inclination not to believe or to accept something. And a lot of you are currently in this space right now. And I need y'all to snap out of it. Please and thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, people, get it together. When you are doubtful, what are you really saying? When you are doubtful, you are saying that you don't trust. And what are we supposed to be doing as God's children, as his sons and as his daughters? We are supposed to be trusting in that man. Even when we feel like we can't, we are supposed to still trust him. Romans 14 and 23 says that he that doubteth is damned if he eat because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not faith is sin. That is powerful. That is Romans 14 and 23. Okay. So I posted these scriptures in my God ordained um, kingdom marriage group uh, two days ago. Um, you can pause to read these scriptures. I screenshot it and, um, so you can write them down and go back and read them for yourselves. But Proverbs 3, 5 and 8 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on your own understanding. And then I'm going to read Mark eleven twenty three. But verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. And then Isaiah 41 and 10 Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right? Mark 9 and 24. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. And james 1 6 but let him act in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with um wind and his torso so it's like there's no reason to doubt god there's no reason to be doubtful there's no reason to have doubt but yet it still comes and that's when we have to go into prayer especially if you are in your single season and you're believing in god for marriage or pretty much Whatever it is that you're believing in God for. Some of you are believing in God for new homes, new cars, right? Higher income, financial stability. Some of y'all have back rent and need help with bills and it's a lot going on. And whatever you are believing in God for, remove the doubt. Don't let that doubt creep in because, I mean, I, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. <laughs> Be delusional. Be, be delusional. Act as though these things are done. If you're struggling with rent, act as though that rent is already paid. If you are struggling with losing weight, act like you already lost the weight. Struggling with hair growth, act like your hair is already down your back. I mean, I know those are just, but <laughs> it's just like, activate the faith, activate your belief system, and remember who you serve. We serve God. We serve God, right? So we have to let this doubt go. So as soon as you're having a, you having a good day, whatever, and day is going good, you're feeling faithful. You ain't got no doubt going on. You're feeling good. And then here comes doubt, spirit of doubt out of nowhere. Immediately, you pray. But some of y'all don't do that. Some of y'all, y'all let the doubt sit. And the more and more you let doubt sit in your spirit, I'm, it's going to distract you from the, the your beliefs that you just had like five seconds ago. So it's like, don't sit in that spirit of doubt. Don't sit in any spirit of negativity, first and foremost. The spirit of doubt comes on you. You pray immediately. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of doubt to leave my spirit. I command the spirit of confusion to leave my mind. I command the spirit of negative thoughts to leave from me right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You got to talk like that, but you got to do it immediately. 
And if it's still there kind of lingering, you keep praying until it's gone. Prayer packs a lot of power. Much prayer, more power, no prayer, no power. So for the love of God, get it together and come up out of the spirit of doubt and fight. I, you know, because what, what, what I'm starting to understand with some of you all, you, I, I could tell you 50 million times that everything is going to be okay, that God has you to trust, to believe, to pray, to read scriptures. And for some of y'all, it just don't click. And that's when I remove myself because it's like, after, at a certain point in time, telling this to someone over and over and over who's just not going to receive it, I have to go and go offer this to someone else who's going to receive it. And then you got the people who receive it immediately. You got the people who pray immediately. You got the people who are like, you know, what? I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. I need y'all to fight right now. Nobody should not be fighting these spirits. You should not be sitting with these spirits. The spirit of worry, the spirit of doubt, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of sadness, loneliness, anger, bitterness. Why are we sitting with these spirits again? So can we stop sitting with these spirits and fight the enemy back so we can let these things go? We have a promised land to get to. We have promises that God intends to give us. We have stuff to do. All right? All right, cool. All right, so command that spirit of doubt to leave you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen.